Water is scarce here in the village of Pisco El Quí in northern Chile. Twice a week for an hour, it flows in from a public canal into the children's garden in the middle of town. This 800 square meter garden is part of an environmental awareness project just for children. Tierra y Valle means earth and valley. Pilar Aguirre grew up in Pisco El Quí. She started Tierra y Valle last year as a private initiative. Now she has the support from the community. When we have water, it's a party for the kids. They take off their shoes and get wet right away. Then they want to water the plants. They've learned how important it is to take care of the plants, because water is life. The kids realize that it's valuable, and they play with it just like they do with dirt or mud. They're so enthusiastic. Aguirre teaches the children about the interconnectedness of nature and what they can do to protect the environment. In the garden, each of the children gets a square meter plot to tend and plant as they see fit. Look, those are the potatoes you planted last winter. Do you remember? Benjamin planted those potatoes, and now see how big they've gotten? The kids learn to be productive. They're creating something new out of the earth. We show them which plants are useful and when and where to sow the seeds. The kids help each other, and they also bring along the knowledge they've picked up at home. We give them instructions so they can put their knowledge to work. But it's also an exchange. More than 50 children from the community are already involved in the project. The ages range from 5 to 13. Most have never had a garden before. But after six months, they're already in the swing of things. My grandfather and my father grew vegetables. They taught me a few things. You always have to water the plants well so they don't dry out. And you have to remember which ones go in the shade and which ones go in the sun. The mountains in the El Quí Valley were once covered in snow, even in summer. The melting snow was a major water source for the plant life. But the past few years have seen rising temperatures and less snowfall. Rivers in the area are running dry, and vegetation is disappearing. We have massive problems. For instance, the birds are disappearing because there aren't enough native trees where they can find food. Also, the people in the village don't have a place where they can go for outdoor recreation. But that's set to change. Together with the children of Tierra y Valle, Aguirre is working on a reforestation project. The Chilean government has pledged to pitch in 20,000 euros. Together, they're working to build a new park out in the mountains, 20 minutes' drive from the village. We can plant today. The holes are already there. So each one of you can find a spot for your tree. We've got 40 trees, enough for everyone. Over the coming months, the kids aim to plant a total of 500 trees in the new park. Their parents and neighbors from the village are helping too. The project has shown people how much the drought is affecting their valley and what they can do about it. The new trees will attract more wildlife. They'll also help prevent soil erosion. There's never been a project like this before. It took a while for us to open up to it, but now that we see what's happening and how many people are involved, we're happy about it and we support it. 
The children plant poplars, willows and privets, hardy trees that grow fast and don't need much water. A Chilean environmental organization has agreed to donate the water. At Tierra Ivaya, we're always concerned with nature. We think it should be green everywhere and that the water must be clean, just like the whole environment. We're very happy and thankful to have the opportunity to plant here. You can always count on us. Let's give ourselves a round of applause. The first phase of the children's forest is finished. Now the community wants to plant even more trees. Eventually, they plan to have about 1,500. Perhaps one day when these children grow up, they can take their children for a walk in the new park they helped build. Lepili!